on both perspective. And on our side, we benef- we are benefiting how the world view history, especially students and their critical thinking skills. So uh, before we move on to some extension and some important clashes in this debate, I would like to mention a little bit more about the framing part. Uh, as our first speakers already mentioned about the main and also very important stakeholder when it comes to learning, and which is probably have been debated for a lot in this debate, which is students. And I believe that like on our side at the end of this debate, the student, when they are learning a kind of like textbooks which do not have glorification of revolution, then they'll be more creative since they are forced to think of different perspective. Of course, we're not saying that textbooks now, they are inaccurate. Of course, historical facts are still accurate. But when the textbooks, they glorify certain revolution, it simply means that they are just trying to glorify things that make students think that other oh, country is the best and other countries are just like not as good as their own country. So for for example, let's take a very uh, example of like China. So basically, student in China, when they learn the map of their own country, then they will just learn that like the two islands in Vietnam is theirs, even though like it may be true, it may be not. But basically, the teachers or like the textbook taught them that. So they will believe that their country is the best and their country take over like do not take over the lands of others. And secondly, how will like what will society look like on both sides? Uh, so on our side, we believe that at the end of this debate here, society will look like that history textbook will be something just for glorification of revolution and the education, like the way that we educate, especially students, will definitely change. So coming to our extension here is that first of all. Uh, first speaker from our site mentioned that how will this discourage student to analyze critical historic events? It will lead to a generation just rely everything on textbooks. So when revolution are presented in a glorified manner, then students may not be encouraged to critically analyze historical events instead of questioning the like the causes, the motivation of why this particular political leader did this and the consequences of the revolution. Student will just accept the glorified narrative narratives at face value, and this will hinder their ability to think critically about history and its impact on the present and future. While first speaker from opposition, their main case just assumes the fact that students will love learning history through textbooks without explaining to us two important things. Number one, they never explained to us how this glorification of revolution history textbook look like on their side, and number two, how students will enjoy looking at lots of text and history textbooks. And they said to us that accuracy is important. And if without like the glorification, then student will have trouble to connect. It will make it harder for students to appreciate current events and revolution. We think this is totally false because again, we never say that history textbooks are not accurate. What we're saying here is the act of glorifying something too much makes it biased. We believe when students learn history, they should be able to explore depth in a matter, including different perspective. For example, in this kind of revolution, then two countries fought. So what really happened and what are the motives behind this and what are the two perspectives perspective. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, we believe that even if without glorification, then like, because there's no point in glorifying something too much because... Okay, we understand that when something is good, we should be able to celebrate it, we should be able to appreciate it, but there's no point in... Why should we glorify something? Like, why should we glorify revolution in history textbooks in the first place? We believe it does not really help with what the country are facing. We believe, like... If even if we did it, there are better ways to do it. Like we can glorify through different platforms instead of history textbooks because because like history textbook is the core, like is the basis of students learning. And it's better for them to actually study 
from what is truly important in the first place. And the main argument from first off is that they just said to us, it will play a crucial role in helping students understand and motivate them. But we just, I think we have already rebutted this by saying that there will be no motivation since they cannot really critically analyze things. And it's just something that they just learn and write down on their notebook. And secondly, second, second speaker on our side, they, she said, uh, that the glorification of revolution history textbooks can lead to a misunderstanding of their true nature, and it's completely true. While second opposition, they said that it will help to promote national unity and cultural identity, like it will preserve of his, it will preserve historical memory. Like for example, she mentioned the fact about Uncle Ho or like George Washington being being preserved and prom this will promote national unity. We believe that yes, sometimes there are some important historical figures that need to promote and that need to preserve. But if we really want to preserve and want to promote them, why should we actually glorify them too much in history textbooks? Like there are many other different platforms to actually glorify some kind of revolution. And on our side, we believe that students are less likely to look at a textbooks and to actually learn because we believe that when students learn a lot, all like the main source of their learning is from different platforms rather than looking at textbooks. So their point is no longer stand in this debate. So coming to the most important clashes here, we believe that since it's like about the glorification of revolution history textbook, then it's mostly relevant to the fact about students learning at school and how like the educators educate them. So number one is about how students, uh, they will most be likely to be more interested in what they're learning and actually understand and be able to analyze things better, which we believe that our site did better by proving by we are able to prove to you how students will be able to analyze different historical events. Instead of just looking at a textbook that all the textbook did is glorify some revolution without really making students think about how this will be glorified and how is this better in the first place. And secondly is like how not glorifying will bring more benefits. We believe that if we don't glorify revolution in history textbook, it will be more beneficial for the fact that like, a different perspective will be taken more into consideration instead of like, because oftentimes in history textbooks, of course, if we're learning history of America or if like we're learning history of like, for example, in my country, I'm learning history of like my own country. So definitely, of course, the history textbook will just mainly talk about how good my own country is and how bad other countries are, which means that this is so biased that will make the student have a negative mindset into what they're learning, especially a very important subject such as history. Really, at the end of the day, history is something that brings unity to countries and students should be able to learn the real knowledge, the different perspective of a matter.